He's just gonna start rubbing that dough like he just did. He's gonna just stop right 65 yards. He's gonna be full draw. He's gonna run him right to us. There's a couple of them down there. Jake saw them. We went down here a little bit. And there's just a, I mean, there's a pond here to the south and then there's a pond here to the north and it's connected by a little ditch or slough or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to get down in here. I mean, really see what it looks like. See if we can even, if it's full of water, obviously we can't get in it, but if there's enough on either side for us to get closer to them, we're going to try it. So I don't know where I put the sump. Oh, sorry, Ted. Um, Zach laughed at me when I... <laughs> When I called those cheesecloths, oh, yeah. has anybody else that, ever heard that called cheesecloth? Me? Yeah. I have, but I like it. Oh, that's full of oatmeal. What, are we just going to eat dried oatmeal out there? <laughs> and I got my bowl. My he bowl. does eat dried oatmeal, though. Do you really, Ted? No, I don't. I feel like you've, you, <laughs> what have I seen you eat this? Dry bread? ramen. Oh, ramen. Yeah, that's Hell, that's gross. Weird. Do you put the seasoning on there? Yeah. It's kind of weird. It is kind of weird, but I tried it. It doesn't really taste that bad. Ramen? Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Putting the kill kit in there, just not because we're being cocky, but just because we don't want to walk back if we do actually get one. <laughs> Thinking smarter, you know. War would say that's bad luck, but you know, haven't been having a lot of good luck, so you can't hurt. I doubt any of them are in a hurry, but. side of this knoll and just follow that low spot and try to get there see if that works yeah for sure i think we can yeah, let's try it so there's a bunch of antelope out here a bunch of antelope basically there's a bunch of antelope all around this pond and then there's another pond further that way we're gonna get get around like this get up here so we're at least in the game and watch where they go and make a plan from there. Go right to him. Goes a long way. Get a little spot on there. That's all right. It's not gonna make me look any better. a situation where like, you see that green patch up there stuff yeah like for a few lays down within range of that you can get somewhere probably where you can get close like keep that between you and him even if you got to move out there and like he's still it seems like he's gonna go another hundred yards at least right i mean with the fact that he, him just heading right towards the ditch i think we try to cut the distance i mean obviously we don't want to yeah, get in front of got him. enough north in it where it's not it, really risky at all yet right i think you just shade 100 yards this side of him though at least always like you can always like the back up so heavy too that you guys can literally run you know? right Yeah. Mother in 
you what? Not to be your mother or anything. No, I think you're right. My mouth's fairly dry from <laughs> from cr crouch walking with my mouth open. So we saw these bucks off the road. We came in. We popped over the pond. They were all way here on the north side of this piece. Jake climbed up in the tree, spotted them. We looked at the ditch. We figured, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of fresh tracks and stuff on that pond. So we figured, you know, if this ditch is deep enough all the way across, we might as well just take it. Now, the majority of them have worked off. They're probably on private at this point, but there's one buck that was bedded out here in the middle of this stuff. And as soon as we kind of started crawling, for whatever re reason, he stood up and started heading to the west, which is, you know, um, toward the ditch, basically. So we've just been hopping from tree to tree, trying to keep up with him. We're hoping that he just lays down somewhere, and then we've got a bunch of wind, so Jay's got the spotter on him. We're just gonna wait. Hopefully he lays down, we crawl right up to him, shoot him. Did he just disappear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Thank you.
well, what do you do? Go try to get another one, I guess. Oh, frick. <laughs> That's all you can do. So we just got almost to North Dakota, it seems like, and spotted a lone buck on this hillside where Ted, Jake, and Sean had been seeing a large number of does. Um, and they've got permission to access the public through um, this farm down here. So we're gonna go up, turn around, go down and see if this guy's home and see if he'll let us access uh, this public here from his farm again. And there's potentially a, a little route we can take with a hill in between me and him we can get pretty close, so. I think this is gonna be great if he's still there. Yeah. We should've just drove right up to him. Hey, well, thanks for the lease, well. guys. So it's so hard to know for them, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's walking up that hill. Maybe he, he gets walk <laughs> Dude, maybe he gets hill. to that freaking. Oh they're gonna be like, holy Dude, their, they, their wind should be good now. He's going right toward them. Oh no. Get down. Draw. I mean he's way further than he looks, I imagine, but yeah. Holy cowboys might get him. I mean, they're always going to spook the hell out of him. <laughs> He's really far away from him right now, though. They're not going to be ready. He's about to see him. I mean, one telephone pole is probably 100 yards apart. They're about that. A little less than. Uh, oh, no. Three, two, one. Boom. Boom. Got him. He's drawn. Shoot. Alright folks, show's over. Was it the one? 
one that was right here. Is he saying there's one right down there? There's one right there. Look at them, they're running. They're running. They are? Dang it. Uh oh. Oh no. Is it all over? <clears throat> the buck's the only one left to the right. See him? Hayden's gonna send it. I bet he shoots. I would hope. I have no idea how close he is. He's like, they're real far. No. Can you see him? Oh yeah, Hayden's way up in Hayden's front. Hayden's close. Hayden, draw. He's right next to that buck. Yeah, I see him. He's getting ready to. Yeah, he is. He's, he's knocking, knocking an arrow. Him. Come on, dude. Hit Aiden, him. come on. Hit, Hit him. him. Hit him. No, don't, don't range. Him. Don't range. Aiden, draw. Oh. Aiden, draw. Oh, he's ranging him. He's done alright. Draw, Hayden. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. Hayden, draw. Look at all of them run. <laughs> Look at all of them. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. That was a fun one. Yeah, it was. There's so many of them in that group. There's a lot of them. If there's, one, if there's just like that. I think I got, like he was just past that sage bush, right? Mm-hmm. The cows following us as a crowd didn't yeah, help either. Yeah, that's the thing. Cat cows, and then these ones over here are the ones that started blowing. Yeah. You got a fair amount of daylight. Oh yeah. We're going two more stock. Right here, right here. You see him? I'm gonna shoot this one to the right. You see the big one to the right? <laughs> 